Sorry, it's been a while since we last posted. We've been extremely busy, but we had to take out some time to do this very important video. Our farming history starts from Guru Nanak Devi in Kartarpur side, where he farmed land and set up Lungan. There are many other stories in Sikhi, such as Bindas and Bahadda, who abolished land ownerships by the rich or big companies. He took the land and then granted property rights to the poor and working class, which is the reason why Punjab is known for its farming culture. So what's happening now? The farmers sell their produce at the Mindy, a marketplace, a system where farmers sell to buyers, regulated by the MSP, minimum support price. The new laws will phase out the system and allow private buyers to pay way under these regulated prices. This is terrible because now the farmers won't get the money they deserve of their hard work and will live in the insanity of how much money they will make on their crops. They are already struggling with depths and bad soil due to lethal pesticides and now this. Farmers will struggle to feed their families and struggle to survive on so little income. This has led to farmers feeling under extreme pressure and worry and last year over 10,000 farmers commit suicide. These new laws affect all of India's farmers irrespective of caste, creed, colour and religion. Why is this so important to us? And why did Punjab and Sikhs lead the way for protests in the closing of them? 80 to 90% of Punjab agricultural land is owned by Sikhs. Sikhs has always stood up to injustice and in supporting all those suffering it, such as the Gudur movement, Shahidi Murche, and Anandpur Resolution. And again, Punjab has led the way and lifted barricades, been attacked with tear gas, batons and water cannons. Our elders have been beaten and are willing to give their lives. Now, finally, the rest of India's farmers are also joining the protest. It has become the largest protest in history, with 250 million people taking to the streets around the globe to peacefully protest. Even in the UK, the Sikh protesters have been met with the violence from the police. The good D media is saying bad things and making up lies about the farmers' protests. Don't let people get caught up in this. Spread the truth, create awareness and bring justice to the farmers. We need to ensure people all over the world know and understand the injustice that's happening. Where are you going to eat? Who is giving the free? Who is giving the free? Who is giving the free? Go to schools and create awareness of what's happening. Talk to your class and ask your teacher if you can have some time to explain what's happening to the farmers in India. You can even make models and props to engage their interests like I did. Occasionally, in your life you need a doctor, a lawyer, a policeman and a preacher, but every day, three times a day, you need a farmer.